Hi everyone, today I'm going to share my five productive tips. Uh, hope you'll find it helpful. Let's get started. The first one is to make a to-do list. In the to-do list, you write down uh, the things you want to do, like uh, the bills you want to pay, the shopping you want to do, any pending work that you want to accomplish, uh, important calls that you have to make, uh, even big goals if you want to, you can break them down into small doable goals and write them down in your, uh, in your book or your journal. You can uh, either maintain a book uh, or you can uh, write it down in your app, uh, whichever is comfortable. I actually do both. Uh, I make sure that I write my uh, to-do list in my book every night before I go off to sleep. It's like my nightly routine. I make sure that I write at least five of uh, uh, things that I want to achieve the next day. So when I wake up the next day, I'm clear about the things that I want to achieve. Uh, I also use app for if I'm outside and if I remember some work that I have to do. So I just pull out uh, one of the uh, apps and just note it down and uh, when I get home I can make sure that I list it in, uh, in my five to-do list. Uh, five because I feel it's more uh, it's more achievable and doable. It doesn't feel overwhelming so I think five is a good number to start every day. Um, also I put a tick once my uh, goals are accomplished. Uh, it makes me feel uh, good that I've achieved that uh, task or completed that task. So I always put a tick across uh, the goal that I have or the task that I have accomplished. Uh, the second productive tip is include a fitness and meditation routine. I think routines are very important. So I have this morning routine where I wake up and have my bath and read my spiritual uh, books. Uh, it really uh, makes me feel, uh, you know, it makes me feel very energetic and very happy from within. Uh, it's somehow I feel it really contributes into my uh, productivity. So I make this ritual of uh, meditating. Uh, it's like a reading meditation. So I pick up my uh, spiritual books every morning uh, and read them. I also include a fitness routine in the evening because since the morning it's not possible for me to do any kind of a workout so I make sure I at least include about 10 to 20 minutes of workout in the evening. Uh, it, uh, I usually love doing yoga so uh, I feel yoga is like uh, it's more, again, I feel it's very easy and doable. I don't have to get ready for a gym and go down or, you know, go for a gym. So uh, this is, I can just pull out my mat, do my yoga, and whether it's just for 10 minutes or 20 minutes, uh, I can do that in the evening. So I feel fitness, including any fitness routine, definitely increases your productivity. I feel routines are important because uh, they really, uh, you know, it, they give you a clear thing like you know for example if you have a specific routine like uh, whether it's workout or uh, any meditation that you're doing you're very sure at if you've decided the time or what time you're doing it you're sure like if you're doing it in the morning you wake up and there's no debate whether you should or sh you shouldn't do it you just wake up and you go for it and uh, do that workout so that's why I definitely include a meditation and fitness routine to increase your productivity my third tip for uh, productivity is to keep away from distraction. I feel everyone has uh, different distractions that they face. Uh, for me, it's noise pollution and uh, like you can, I don't know whether you can hear the honking outside. But there's a lot of noise pollution that is very distracting. Uh, secondly, I feel phones are very distracting with low, tons of uh, notification. So what I do is uh, when I'm doing some important work or uh, uh, kind of even reading a book or something, I just put off the unwanted notification uh, that really helps me to get productive. Even if I'm working, I just make sure I close all the windows so there's less of noise pollution. It's very important for us to recognize what really distracts us and uh, make sure uh, to write it down and find a solution for that so you can just really keep away from those distractions to really get more productive. The fourth productive tip is to track yourself. I feel tracking has really uh, helped me to be productive. Uh, there are various apps right now that really help you to uh, specifically improve uh, whether it's your fitness goal or whether it's your financial goals or any personal goal that you really want to target and uh, be productive in that particular goal. The only uh, thing that you have to do in tracking is be disciplined. You have to log in every day and make sure that you uh, don't forget to log in because at the end, uh, at the end of the month usually they have this chart where they show how uh, how uh, progressive you have been in uh, in that particular field uh, there's there are different graphs 
a pie chart which they show how much uh, you've been really um, wonderful in that uh, uh, field. Uh, some of the tracking apps that I personally love is um, uh, Noom Fitness, uh, My Fitness Pal, which is uh, these both are in a uh, health category. Then for finance, I use uh, Walnut. Uh, then there is a uh, app which uh, tracks different habits of mine. It's called Habit Bull. I also uh, like tracking my sleep. There is an app called Sleep Boot. Uh, and last, uh, the app that I um, use for tracking my uh, uh, calories that I burn uh, is Google Fit. And some of the to-do list apps that I use uh, for writing down my um, list of things that I have to achieve is On the List, uh, Color Note, Keep by Google, Inkpad. And uh, these are another common uh, apps like Evernote and One uh, OneNote by Microsoft. These are very common, but I prefer using Wunderlist and Keep by Google more often. And the fifth and last productive tip is to get inspired. Um, there are different ways to get inspired. Now we have a lot of uh, social media. Uh, I find Instagram, uh, uh, some of the Instagrammers are very inspirational, uh, whether it, uh, it's Twitter or even on Facebook, there are some people that I um, uh, keep on the notification for. So whenever they post, I have a look at their uh, posts. So it post uh, whether it's on Twitter, Facebook. Uh, for example, I like following Robin Sharma. I love uh, following Rajita Devekar. I love following um, Miranda Kerr. There are so many of them who you know are simply ins inspiring. I also like reading books. Uh, this is one of the book that I make sure I read every quote, one quote from this book every day. Uh, this is 365 Days to Inspiration. Um, it's from Napoleon Hill. These are the quotes inside. Like he has a quote for each day. So it, inspiration uh, from these quotes really helps me to get on and do my work and really get productive and not just sit lying uh, lazy around. So hope you found uh, this uh, video inspiring and really hope it uh, helps you in some way in uh, getting productive. Please do like, share and subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.